Hi everyone! In this video, I will introduce the Principal Component Analysis. The Principal Component Analysis, or PCA, is a statistical method for reducing the dimension of a dataset. It is a popular method for analyzing a large dataset, increasing the interpretability of the data without losing much information. It does that by maximizing the percentage of total variance, which is explained with new uncorrelated variables, the principal components, which are linear combinations of the initial variables. The principal components axes or coordinates through the initial dataset are the eigenvectors of the covariance matrix with the highest eigenvalues. Let's start with a simple illustrative example. We consider a dataset composed of 18 elements in a box. If we rearrange a bit the dataset, we identify several common characteristics. First of all, all shapes are circles with quite similar sizes. 10 out of 18 have a dark color, 8 have a light color. The color of 10 of them contains the primary color red, while 8 contains the primary color blue. Orange is a mix of red and yellow, while green is a mix of blue and yellow, so that's why orange is classified with a red and green is classified with a blue. And 7 out of 18 actually contain some yellow. Circles have different sizes, but it is a second order characteristic compared to the one listed before. So from a dataset made of 18 elements, we were able to reduce the dimension to four with four principal components, which are the average sized circle with positive coordinates on all elements. This is the first principal component. Light versus dark with positive coordinates on light elements and negative coordinates on dark ones, red versus blue, and red and blue versus yellow. With a dimension of 4 instead of 18, we were able to explain most of the variants in our universe. In order to compute the principal components, we start with a dataset. We calculate the covariance matrix, which measures how much two variables change together in our dataset. And the principal components are new, uncorrelated variables, linear combinations of the initial variables, which maximize the total variance explained. It can be shown that the first principal axes are the eigenvectors of the covariance matrix with the highest eigenvalues. With the p-first principal components, we are able to explain most of the variants in our dataset. Let's consider a two-dimensional dataset. The scatter plot shows the relationship between the two variables. The first principal component is the direction of greatest variation. It is formed by minimizing the mean squared distance between all variables and their projections. The mean squared distance tells you how much variance the first principal component doesn't explain. It is explained by the second one in the orthogonal direction. It is interesting to compare PCA with simple linear regression of x2 on x1. While the first principal component is formed by minimizing the mean squared distance between all variables and their projections, the ordinary least square regression line is formed by minimizing the mean squared error in the y direction. So the two methods will give different results in general. The first principal component is actually equivalent to the total least square line, which is another type of linear regression. Let's look at another example by considering two correlated Gaussian variables. X1 and X2 follows a Gaussian distribution with zero mean, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 standard deviations respectively. The two variables are correlated with a correlation of 
we simulate 1000 data points. The first eigenvector with the highest eigenvalue points in the direction of the greatest variation, while the second one is perpendicular. With V1 and V2, the variance explained by the first and the second principal components, we draw the new axis from the center of the data points. The length of the two vectors in each direction is equal to 3 times the square root of the corresponding variance explained. The PCA is actually equivalent as fitting an ellipse to the data. We plot here the 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations ellipses. The 3 standard deviations ellipse encloses 98.9% .9 of the data points. The first eigenvector with the highest eigenvalue points in the direction of the first axis of the ellipse, the longest one, while the second eigenvector points in the direction of the second axis. In this example, 94% of the variance is explained by the first principal component. And we can see that principal axes are unit vectors with a magnitude of 1. If we reduce the correlation between the two variables, we see that the angle between the first principal component and the first axis decreases. The relative weight of the variable with the highest variance increases in the first principal component. And when the two variables are independent, the first principal component points in the direction of the variable with the highest variance, so x1 in our example, while the second principal component points in the direction of the second variable. Thank you for your time.